Sadhguru, I'm going to push with this, if I may. I'm going to replace the word creativity with the word transmit, right? So let's talk about transmission, right? How do I transmit? Is there a relationship between transmission and Bhairavi? Do I, do I become part of or access the source? Because to transmit, I have to become like, like a pass, a, a source through which it is transmitted. So how do I do that then? If I have to transmit, even if along the way I do a little bit of clever interpretation of it. She, she herself is a transmission. When I say she herself is a transmission, we've always used the word window in yoga. Somehow Bill Gates stole it from us <laughs> because we didn't make it as popular as he did. <laughs> so the window has always been a term where the whole thing is about opening a new window. If you open a new window, suddenly the existence looks completely different. Right now, suppose this is your home, if you open this window, you see the temple, you think this is how the world is. Suppose this is the... you have lived in this uh, contraption of a home, you open this window, then you think, wow, the world is a temple. You open this window, you think the world is a mountain. You open that window, you think it's a jungle. You open that window and you think it's a town. Like this, you can open a million windows and still it'll be new because the phenomena of creation is such. So she herself is just a window. Anything can be made into a window. Every wall you can crack into a window. But it's not been done. So uh, an established window is made where more people are able to see because it's kept open. By themselves, they would never be able to experience these things. But now, through Bhairavi, people are able to experience things, know things, achieve things which they would have never done by themselves. A whole lot of people right now who, ha who are every day in the Bhairavi sadhana through the Bhairavi yantra, you should listen to the stories. Incredible. I'll tell you about a particular person. This couple just came to the ashram with one of their friends. I didn't even know they were here. They had not done the program. They just came because some friend was coming, they came. They came from Singapore. They walked into the temple and in both their eyes tears came. They didn't know why. They're not very religious kind or anything. They're a very modern couple. So both of them came, they took the yantra home. Their lives change. They're very successful people. But it, his whole business and that's his creativity. He created a new business. He, he He's not like a second generation or something, he's first generation. And uh, he did not start uh, very beginning, he was in the armed forces. And somewhere along the way he kind of took a voluntary retirement and started a business and built it very big, international, you know, really a few hundred million dollar business he built. And this accelerated like anything, he suddenly able to communicate with people, do things with people and the business expanded in a big way. Why I'm saying this is, for him that's his creativity, business is his creativity. And suddenly there's a new capability which he had never thought possible. If you use her as a window, suddenly she opens up a new dimension for you, an enhanced level of competence. So this couple that came to the Bhairavi temple came because here's a possibility and maybe I have one other that I don't know is they were here because they were supposed to be here. They were here by chance. They were asking a question. I'm not saying they answered or got an answer or an intellectual answer. When they walked into the temple, am I, I'm trying to understand did, was there a question in their mind that got, uh, and so maybe answered is the wrong word, but the window opened and gave them an experience that destroyed the question, answered the question, <laughs> what happened? This is a tough guy, okay? okay. He's an ex-army guy and tough guy. 
So for him, without any reason, when he walked in, tears came. He doesn't know what it is, but he knows something opened up. Someone who's never shed tears for anything and does not want to, when he just walks into a place, just a, a building, and just tears came, in his understanding, something opened up, and he's right, something opened up. So that opening is a big experience, and above all, you realize that in so many ways as you progress, socially you progress, in your business you progress and whatever else socially, other things add up. In this, you're tightening the circle, you're closing it up. So you suddenly realize something opened up which I'd never thought possible. I never even sought it, nor did I care for it. But for every intelligent human being, whether he's conscious about it or not conscious about it, or for every human being. Why should I make somebody intelligent, somebody not so intelligent? Because everybody is able to breathe and get oxygen out of air, so they're intelligent enough. Their life is intelligent enough. Whether he is intellectual en is enough or not is a questionable thing. But intelligent enough, life is intelligent enough, that's why it's existing, such a complex form of life. So, for every human being, this is the thing. Have you opened up? to the various dimensions of life, or have you cocooned yourself in your own petty creation, which is psychological? 